Hi there. You're probably watching this video because you've uh, experienced some problems shutting down Windows XP. Not surprising because that's probably one of the most common problems I've uh, dealt with in my years of being a computer geek um, with Windows XP and, and actually even Windows 2000. It seems to be when it started. I want to give you three tips uh, but first I want to point you to my site problemshuttingdownwindowsxp.com there's a whole bunch more information there uh, links to some helpful stuff that will help you solve this problem and, uh, and, and hopefully get out of the situation that you happen to find yourself in right now first thing you can do to attempt to fix this problem is to do a system restore uh, Windows XP has that capability uh, you can go back if you can remember exactly when you started having this problem you can go back do a system restore to before the date that you recall uh, that this problem started you won't lose any of your data but uh, any of the device drivers or anything that you might have installed or any programs that you installed that that may be causing that problem will be rolled back and and you can see if that works and then you can take it from there to figure out what it was maybe that uh, that caused the problem like i said the site problem shutting down windows xp uh, dot com has several other solutions that you can uh, utilize and and several other things to look for but that would be the first place to start do a system restore see if that fixes the problem if not uh... tip number two if you boot into the boot menu and most people who have been around Windows XP for a while will know how to do that but if you don't uh, start your computer power it down start your computer from the power button and when it first comes up to the original splash screen where it's telling you what type of computer you have whatever um, start tapping the F8 key on your keyboard what that will do is bring you into a menu that gives you several options what you want to do is look for the option that says last known good configuration that will take that will boot the computer into uh, what Windows has determined will be the last time that the computer booted properly uh, with all the proper drivers and everything else uh, and you can try that and see if that uh, works to bring it back up once you boot back into it with the last known good configuration, try a normal shutdown, see if it works. If it doesn't, well, then you're going to have to try something else. This next tip, I recommend this kind of as uh, yeah, kind of a last resort. You wouldn't want to try this right off the bat probably, but if you're just totally frustrated, you can go ahead and do this. Um, take your Windows XP CD, put it in your CD drive, turn your computer off turn it back on and boot uh, boot into Windows normally uh, sorry out of sequence a little bit don't put the CD in boot back into Windows normally after you've uh, turned it off boot into your normal Windows then put the CD drive uh, CD in there your Windows XP CD in there and and let it run let it auto run or run the setup program manually depending on how you have your settings and it will ask you if you want to upgrade or you want to reinstall the operating system you want to select the upgrade option that will uh, basically what that does is while Windows is running it installs a copy over top of the existing Windows you won't lose any of your data you won't lose any of your programs or anything else basically what it does is uh, reinstall all of the system files you can try that um, sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't uh, there are problems with that but like I said if you go to problem shutting down Windows XP dot com that's my site uh, there's a wealth of information there that will tell you uh, ways to figure out what's causing the problem and uh, and there's even a, a little workaround there that gives you a shutdown shortcut that will uh, basically shut down the computer on most any problem you really don't want to do that because it's just a workaround. The real thing is to fix the problem. And that's why I set that site up. So go to problem shutting down windowsxp.com. The link is below in the information of this YouTube video. Just go there, check it out, 
and, uh, and you might find a solution to your problem. Again, that's problems shutting down windowsxp.com. See you there. Thanks.